Well, now this before we get started. So we're starting late. Like, you multiply it, so. <laughs> uh, Tar Baron Tees is very upset you guys for not coming up to pick up your con shirts. Apparently they're all sitting behind the desk. So go to Tar Baron Tees in the dealer hall and pick up your shirt if you bought one. Because you already paid for it. Oh, nothing wrong with paying for something, not picking it up, and letting yeah, it rip, just selling it. So that said, they have a bunch of more Jordan Con 6 shirts to sell as well, so come buy one. Um, Paul, you're going to come up and talk about the art show real quick. Oh, what's your name? Paul. Oh, uh, I saw the picture, guys. Seriously, there's not that many consonants. <laughs> <laughs> one real quick announcement. April asked me to say this. The bidding ends tonight at 7 p.m., so if you're bidding on something or would like to come and bid on something after the masquerade, please come by. You'll have probably about 30 minutes after it ends. And, uh, that's all. The contest, the contest. Right. Yeah, that thing. Thank the you, Lee Butler. Be the man. And the Euteria book launch party was supposed to be at 5. It's been postponed till 7. Uh, it's up in room something. 716. 716. 716. Thanks, guys. That's it. All right. Else of Euretha. All right. Euteria. <laughs> uh, another announcement. There's this really awesome podcast you guys should listen to. It's called The Brand. First contestant? That's your fault. Costa? Okay. Reed. April Moore is the name of this lovely young woman, and her costume name is Queen Tyler so far. Prior to her running with the gold, she was the femme fatale of Epidar. Queen Tyler Mitsubar recently promoted to the high blood. The queen is looking for someone to become her voice. A blue dress. Apply at the art show. That's not good, because then it was all the script again. Hey, Joe, what's going on? So that happens. That's the end of April. It's a nice cleavage. Thank you. Costume. Next we have Elaine. Oh, no one likes this. Slash Super. The Amirlin, everyone loves to hate. Everyone boo, please. Do you want to say a few words about how amazing you are? Yeah, you guys called me a bad word on your podcast. <laughs> what is your last name again? My eye is itchy, John. <laughs> <laughs> Anus. Okay. Well, it's a great looking costume. Oh, wait. Oh, now I can dress. Uh, right. Striptease? <laughs> <laughs> Did we get some music? Oh, surprise! Well, this if is it's cheating. a naked body, that's going to shock Oh, good job, Elias. Oh. Two costumes in one that's cheating at the start of the story. Mm. <laughs> it's nuts. You can smell it. <laughs> Stern woman. So Next job is done. Next we have Randall Thor from the year 2014. <laughs> He's going to fire all the four more many names for one man. Ran out the Dragon Reborn, guys. That is a fantastic crowd. I think the skull really helped. That's my suit. That's very nice. You look great. Two guys, or two people coming up. We have Lana and Eve. Lana's wearing grayish green clothes that help him blend in to this blue background. Yeah, it's yeah, orders from squirrels from gray to green to brown. He has to uh, has on the traditional Dory. What's going on in the and back? There is the a sword of the Malkir King. Oh, it's just do a spin for us. That's very nice. Reed is wearing a dress of bluish green, Lance's favorite color. Quote him, well, that's in parentheses. I don't know if that's what the read though. You want to. <laughs> With a green cloak, she's wearing her Tarangrail necklace. Bracelets and rings, her silver jeweled belt is also a Tarangrail. And as a married woman, she has a what? I don't know what's not on there. Like I said, silver stockings. What is she going? <laughs> slippers complete her outfit. Both books are Show us the slippers. And dresses are handmade. Oh, wow. 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 I, I, I saw my girl, but I didn't see the other guy. <laughs> the lady. Celine. Oh, very nice. Well, author step. A woman whose beauty speaks better as an introduction than actual words. Well, then why are you talking? I don't know. 
Constant lust for her power. What? Wait, what? Okay, wait. Uh, let me see if I can describe what I'm seeing here. It allows her to stop at nothing to get what she wants. Is the band-aid part of the costume? Is that the band-aid on your left elbow? Oh, okay. Yeah, please turn around. Show everyone that band-aid. Very nice. Very nice. Usually I would have thought it was the knees, but okay. No. Sister for her wolf spark. Maka is always moving and blunt. That's a real wolf puppy, everybody. Yeah. It actually says blagoon, but then there's a line and then it says blunt. Oh, blunt. Okay. <laughs> Next, we have a young Bell Doman, everybody. He do be looking amazing. <laughs> Oh, and he do be drinking. I did watch you too with the uh, sword contest. You did great. You did do great. After leaving you, well. he failed to control of the spray, pursuing his honest quote unquote trade. The crew chose him as a captain and presented him with a unique racer. Oh, that's very helpful. Oh. See, the camera should always be able to open. The table should. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. Now you have to pick up all these stones and raise the next one. Oh, come on. How dare you. Says our friend Spoiler. It ruins everything. <laughs> it does a great job of the sound. Next, uh, we have Haley Axe. Sing? Sing? Oh, it's a female. Oh, so there is the shadow. That chair has changed so much in the book. The portrayal. The curse of Borgia. Also, Joe, don't I think his name is Bill. 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 Yeah. Ashman. And this is a good direction. See details? Question mark. Can you can you tell us any details? No worries. So details, everyone. What are you dressed as? Handmade from scratch, specifically, specially for an Ashman. Ashkan. Ashkan. Good job. Oh, it's wool, which makes him really, really hot outside of the sun. Oh, see? Sweaty and attractive. Women, why not for it? <laughs> Silver buttons. The shirt is linen, also handmade. Right? Did you grow the uh, material yourself, too? <laughs> and he just wants to thank everybody that helped him from Jordicon to help design Let's and bring this costume to fruition. <laughs> And it looks like we had a bill. Right. One hundred dollars going for Bill. Oh, Bill. Start. Do we have any tickets? Please. That's uh, one. Oh, there's one. That's one hundred. Woo! Do I hear one fifty? All right. There it is. Thank you, Bill. 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 Oh, she came up before I had to. Oh. <laughs> I thought I had time to take a sip. Yeah, if you get your stuff, went too early. It's the Odrin and Janet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. This is Jason and Shirley Peters as Ashman Janet and the Odrin Savai. Very nice. Very nice. Oh. Tell us more about your pulls. So we the rest of this. Handmade Ashman coat and trousers. Handmade longbow. Oh my god, you made that longbow? Good lord. Oh. With her arrows and arm guard. Arm guard has a dragon sword in Janet's name as Andrel made it. Oh. Oh. The Odrin has a homemade dress and shawl. That is good. That is all the way around. You don't stop at 180. Go all the way. Around. Very nice. Very nice. Thanks. Next we have Just Tinker. That's all I got. Oh. 
<laughs> in the script, she introduced herself. <laughs> A woman ravenous for freedom and dance, the tinker travels with a careless grace that suits her. The Taganza dance symbolizes her elegance and she wishes to know if you know the song. <laughs> and the next one is Elegant Grace. This should uh, be hilarious. I'll box your box Miniave. Let's all hope somebody falls down. <laughs> and bring the pain to rain! The pain to rain. They are the undefeated champions of the White Tower Rolly Derby Association. <laughs> And even Marine are awesome in general and would kick ass in roller derby if it was happening. Or <laughs> skate, or skate. <laughs> and now please slowly roll off the Very stage. carefully. <laughs> roll off. <laughs> yeah, don't walk. Roll. Wow, uh, that's a disappointment. Good <laughs> gentleman. Oh, good job. All right. <laughs> Next up we have Red Sean Chan. It comes with an advertisement. <laughs> a free, a free advertisement. How about that? wishes that he live forever. <laughs> the horn calls the heroes, the heroes call him. <laughs> the dark one refuses to say his name. <laughs> the most interesting man in the world. Bring everybody back out, the winners. 
So I don't have any more papers in my hand, so I don't really know what to do. Is everybody coming back? Yeah. Alright, bring them on back. Are they doing this? Well, we, we have, the judges are deliberating. There's some stern words being said. Someone put a microphone on Aubrey. And just bring back our top three. Turn it on. Well, Harry's got it. No, I don't. <laughs> she said, no, I don't, symbolizing that she does not, in fact, have a home. Okay, uh, Susan asked me to talk a little bit about our judging process. It's not, it was talk for Yeah, just talk for it. Okay, uh, Susan asked me to talk a little bit about our judging process. We had an hour pre-judging ceremony. Closer to the memory. Right there. Floor um, <laughs> Uh, we had an hour-long pre-judging ceremony uh, at 4 o'clock where we looked at all the uh, contestants' uh, attire and asked, got to ask them questions about it. And we had three categories for evaluating um, accuracy to the source material, uh, construction, and uh, the overall wow factor. So we uh, deliberated and we have our winners. Susan has the list. Okay. Joe has lots of winners. Uh, yeah, so I know we had a, a first, second, and third place, and we each uh, had a judge's choice. So, would you like? Okay, to so we're going to bring the judges up, the judge's judge choice, choice up first, and then I three, two, one. Great idea. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So, Aubrey's judge's choice was Nancy McCullough as Wolf Sister. are just gorgeous. There's something about the way they catch the light. <laughs> the uh, judge's choice was Stephanie McStay as Haley Axe. It's a dementor. It's hard to see it with all that shadow. <laughs> Harriet's judge of choice was Lauren O'Hara and Wendy Burson as the Roller Jibbering Moran. <laughs> Good. Obviously, just wants to increase the chance of somebody falling down. That's good. That's good. Which you know, prop comedy. It's always funny. <laughs> All right. So third place, we have April Moore as Thailand. A little more cleavage would have probably <laughs> tipped in your skin. <laughs> People don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. Great personality, yeah. though. There's a lot of pedicure. Second showing. place is Leslie Anna says a lot is left still. Leslie who? She's a silver medal for Canada. <laughs> Man, that Canada joke landed. No one likes that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just keep taking our stuff. She's serving me, man. So you guys are all imperialists. That's good. Alright, in first place, guys, we have Catherine Turley as Sil. Careful of the champagne. Okay. Otherwise, Joe gets really annoying. Yeah, reach under right, his skirt. That's so good. Time. Time. <laughs> that was the plan the whole time. Put that mirror on your shoe. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to have everybody else come in here, and you guys will have an opportunity to take some photos of the costumes and everything. So, everybody, come on in.
can have a seat, one person if you want. We have a chair for no reason. The <laughs> <laughs> winners come forward. That's what I was saying. Winners come forward. Yeah, so the winners should definitely be in the back because they already won. So you just gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Also, Sean Chan guy, move sideways so that's your advertisement. Perfect. <laughs> for BigBangLife.com. Yeah. What is the nose name on it? Red Sean Chan. It's a website. A dating website? No, not a dating website. Well, um, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> we're a uh, fan site. Uh, we're just a bunch of group of people up in Knoxville uh, that got together and decided, why not <laughs> develop a amazing pitch? Develop a website that's uh, dedicated to the nerd life because we're all nerds and we love living it. Uh, so we go to conventions. We do cosplay. Um, you can come to our site. All of us have unique um, aspects. So. Wait, what? Are we playing this? Yeah, that's long? good. That's good. <laughs> so take some pictures of the costumes, guys. We're going to be up here for like 10 more seconds before they run away. So, and we're, and we're done. <laughs> I'd like to thank Alan and Maria for slacking off this year. Good job. Good job not being on the panel. Maria's excited. Also, someone please buy her shots. It's really funny. And thank you to our judges, Jason, yes. Aubrey, and Harriet. Oh, the actual judges. As always, Harriet, we better than both of you. So good job. Good job. Now get off stage. <laughs> yes, sir. You all look great. Good change clothes. Good dance. Yeah. Also at 8.30, irrelevant BS, just avoid it. That's the masquerade.